Chip can tell, oh, right now this half is north and this half is south. And it can tell, like, as it's turning within, like, 0 0.09 or 0 0.07 of a degree or something crazy like that. How do you And then if you stop on the side by side buttons, you can uh, build up your power, like she's doing there, so the ball gets hit faster. Good for a couple of laughs. How do you play it? Yeah. Uh, uh, this is a multi touch sensor, places it picks up where you're touching. Right now, it just feeds that data in through a PD patch and plays music. What is it? Just, there's a, sorry, there's a webcam under here. Oh, so okay. it looks up, and when it sees blue, it assumes nobody's touching anything. And then when you touch it, it detects it as like kind of a, a reddish yellow. So you just look for those things, and then you just pick out the centers. by the little piece of metal that bends. Oh, there's a little piece of spring steel, so that'll last forever. 
Yeah, we'll go through its little movement a few hundred times. Oh, okay. Rand helped them build it. So are you worried that the motor is going to die before 10,000 years? Um, it's not going to use a motor. It's it's going to be powered by, um, basically we'll have weight drives. Okay. Weights will be lifted by ambient temperature change using a, a bimetallic strip and also by sunlight which will be focused onto a, a wire made of an alloy called nitinol. But math wise I think we're pushing about 1.39 million volts at the top. <laughs> FSRs? Uh, there's an FSR right here. And then these are med sensors. And then I have an accelerometer. Oh, okay. That one's a white noise generator. It was designed to work with a single transistor. Uh huh. It's been running for two years. It's still running. On the same battery? Yeah. <laughs> so, for some reason, it's not. Do you have a microprocessor on there? No, see, it's fully oh, analog. analog. Configure or is it a puzzle? It no, is a puzzle. puzzle. So you have okay. to put them back in the right order. Yeah. I think I probably can't do this. Yeah, there you go. Wow. So you can also reconfigure it like um, if you've got an animation that's long and thick, you can download it and rearrange it. I see the other animation. Yeah. So why do, you, why do they need these things, this communication? Um, is that to reprogram them? Or? Yeah, that's, that's how it downloads other animations. So like, for example, um, you know, it's broadcasting the animation to an hour, but it, each tile recognizes its ID and okay, okay. picks it up and captures the data. Wow. <laughs> Wow. What the uh, temperature is? It's actually a little bit high, a couple of degrees high. But uh, what's your what's your source of two? Does everyone have to use the same size weapons? It's based on what the actual ship has, so the sizes are from babies up to quarter inch. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no, there's like four blue boats around this one. I got one! Well, you put the pot. How many sensors? Only six. <laughs> 